Hey guys, what's going on? So recently I was in the uh, Photo Biz Exposed Premium Facebook group and we were having some chats in there about um, how we set up Lightroom and people had some questions um, on exactly how I was doing mine specifically. So today I'm gonna kinda show you how I set everything up and kinda some of the reasons why. All right, so here we are in Lightroom. Um, and what I like to do is use one catalog for each year. So for this year, obviously it's 2016. Um, and within that catalog, we have what we call at review. Um, and this is just all the jobs that we've been shooting. Um, so as soon as a job is shot, it's brought into the at review and that way we know that it needs to be worked on. Um, and here's where we do all the edits and all that sort of thing before we move the files. And then from there, Kind of where we're going is into the clients section and this area is broken down into finals which is just the final jpeg versions only and then the raw is the original raw files from those jobs so within the raw and final section they're set up exactly the same to where you know it's just kind of broken down by category of the job so we, you know we have like commercial and engagements editorial weddings so on and so forth um, and say within weddings we'd have like the weddings broken down and then within the weddings we break it down even further to where we have the different parts of the day kind of structured out um, and that way it just makes it a lot easier to export so when we export say a wedding it will export out um, into the JPEG versions of those individual folders so it's all already organized and ready to go we just have to upload it and then when the client downloads it it will download in those folders as well um, but yeah the the final section is also set the exact same way so I see you went to weddings you know and just it's all broken down by day so kind of the reasoning and my thought process kind of behind this and the reason why I have it set up like this is because um, so the at review is like I know these are the things that need to get worked on um, but once they're completely finished with a job I will move all those raw files into the raw um, section of Lightroom and then from there I export out all the JPEG versions um, and then I'll re-import the JPEG versions into the final section that way if I need just JPEGs I can just go straight to these sections and get just the JPEG versions or like when I work on stuff in Photoshop or whatever else I can import those in as JPEGs and then they're all ready to go in here but yeah, so that's kind of like the breakdown of how I set up Lightroom and the reason why I have it set up like that, I guess. As far as like collections and stuff go, I don't really use any of the smart collections or anything other than when I sync up to Lightroom Mobile. Um, and about the only time I use Lightroom Mobile is like when I'm trying to cull photos, like on the go, like I'm out like grocery shopping and I can cull at the same time or whatever. But yeah, other than that, I don't use any of this smart collections or anything like that. But uh, yeah, so I guess that's about it. And hopefully you find that useful and thanks for watching. So another topic that was brought up in the Photo Business Exposed Premium Facebook group was the backup process and how we back everything up. But I just thought it would be too much to have in one video. So we're actually gonna split it into two different videos. So in the next video, we'll talk about our backup process start to finish, starting with on location all the way through the very end of the year. So stay tuned to the next video and uh, we'll see you later.